Okay guys, I'm back and uh, what I'm going to do is a really thin background um, so that when it's dry I want to use some uh, pigment markers on it and um, I will show you how I mix stuff up. The colors I'm going to use is teal 426. I have um, Antraquinona. I don't know how, how to pronounce it, but it's 823. I have the titanium white, which is 303. And now I'm going to mix my green. So always shake these bottles because it's a fluid acrylic. Always be shaking them before you use them. So I'm going to put some green in there. And the color doesn't really um, appeal to me that much. So I put in a little bit of yellow. And this time I'm going to put in a little bit of titanium white. So we're going to mix this up a little. And as you can see, it turns into a whole different color. <clears throat> and I kind of like this color going with the blues. So then I add the pouring medium. And this is still the old, the old recipe pouring medium. And that's sort of how I mix the paint. So there will be no silicone in the colors. There will only be a little bit of silicone in the white. Because I want it to do its own thing when I put it on this uh, canvas. So like, oops. <laughs> oh, that's me again. Hey, <laughs> spilling. Where's my little clothy thing? It's gone, I see. Wait a minute, guys. Well, I guess my husband took it. Oh no, it's in the, in the bucket. I already see it, but I've got to take this off just a bit. Okay. So that was the blue. This is the teal. And then I have teal with a little bit of white. And you can see how thin this is. This is like really like almost like water. But we'll see what happens. <clears throat> so what I'm going to mix in here is the white. And I need about a hundred milliliters. I'm going to pour it all in the middle there. Like I said, it's very thin, so normally I would use 150 milliliters for the canvas. But because this paint is so thin, I'm going to be using about 80. So I'm going to turn it around and let it come out. As you can see, it's coming all around. Look at that, that is pretty. And there we see something happening, like some sort of a cell, cell action. I want to help it because I don't want to tilt it too much. There it is. And I have been um, really wanting to do something with a really, really fluid, fluid paint. I've been wanting to do that for a really long time. Let me fix these little corners first. That's that. Okay, oops, there's another little holy thing that we want to be covered. And you can see where the uh, silicone has touched the canvas. You'll have to uh, help it uh, along a little bit, you know, just to get, oops, there I touched it. You want to help it that it stays covered. Now, I am going to torch it. 
as you can see here that's what the silicone is doing and I'm really just just touching it a little bit as you can see I'm not really holding that torch on there too long just pulling the silicone to the top Okay, that's about it. Now, I'm hoping that it's not going to move too much because I can imagine making flowers out of these cells that have appeared. I want to make something with the, uh, like I said, with the markers. But I do need, as you can see here, where you look straight down to the canvas, that is where the uh, silicone has hit the canvas before the paint. Now, by doing this, it'll grow a little bit bigger, but that's okay. As long as you don't see that canvas. So I'm helping it along a little, as you can see. And this is, this is really beautiful. I absolutely love the way it is moving. And it will get a little bit bigger before it's finished. I'm pretty sure about that. Now, here I still have to touch it up. But I will be using a little bit of paint where I know that there's no silicone in it. So I'm mixing that on the side. So that I can cover up where I think it needs covering. A little bit down here. Wow, <laughs> it's really turned into something really pretty. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm not even going to, I'm sure I'm not going to use a marker on this because I like it just as it is. So touching up the canvas where you can see the, uh, see the little what do you call it the woven fabric and we don't want to see that so that's why I'm covering it up a little bit and and a little later I'll come over it again and again with the uh, with the proper colors so that's about it a little bit more up here Okay, this is all okay. I see a little bit here, but I don't want to ruin it too much by putting too much paint on it. Let me turn it a little bit. That'll have to work on a little bit more. That's it. You know, I might even do that with the uh, with the marker. I'm sorry I'm getting quiet on you guys, but I really like what it's turning into. Um, it has really something to it that I really like. But I'm just making sure that the canvas isn't going to pop through. Have another one here, a little one there. That'll do. I'll just let it dry like this. Let's see if I can... I do want to fix this a little bit though because there's, as you can see, it's not really wavy like the rest. It's sort of not really flowing into each other. Now it is. Let's 
That'll be a little flowier. Okay, that'll work. Okay guys, that's about it. Now, this will be, I'll, I'll show it when it's dry in another video, I promise. But I like the, and these are only a couple of colors, you know. I used to, a lot of colors for the green, but just to make it a little interesting. But as you can see, the green sort of totally got lost in the pour. But what I'm thinking about is outlining every single bloom that you see, outlining it with a acrylic marker, and we'll just see what, what, that, what that looks like later. So I'm going to put this one away. I'm going to thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.